Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of the 21st through the 27th of October. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also, as usual, I do recommend that you guys lead with your rising sign. So this is mainly going to be for Aries rising. However, you can watch this for any placement that you have Aries in which you are a little curious about. Yeah? So let's just go right ahead and get into this and see what we've got for you this week. Holy Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aries at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the week of October 21st through the 27th of 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, let's do this. I'm going to give this five shuffles, and let's see what your overall energy is this week. Yeah? One. Two. Three. Four. My Aries. For the week of the 21st through the 27th of 2020, this is three. Four. Aries. Let's see what we got. Door to value here. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more card with this. Yin and Yang. Okay. So, um, I really do feel like you guys are working on your finances. You're working on bringing balance. Um, you could also be very much working on yourself, working on this balance of yin and yang within yourself, and that is helping you to open some more doors to value or work on your finances, your business, your abundance. Um, I do feel like the main focus for you here, Aries, this week is your your own, okay, I just heard your independent flow, but uh, your independent stance is really what I'm feeling here with this yin, yin and yang energy. I feel like you're very much working on finding balance within your life um, internally, which is influencing you to strike an external balance as well. Uh, for the most part, this is going to naturally work itself out as you focus within, okay? But this is going to be bringing you extra value. Um, you could be working on find, working on balancing your finances, how you can make more money, or how can you can make money in a more authentic way. Yeah, okay, this is beautiful. So let's look at what's crowning you this week. Five shuffles, four, four shuffles, here we go, one. Three and four for you, Aries. So what is crowning you this week, Aries? What's on your mind? What's your thought process? Patience. Okay. Yeah. So I do feel like some of you really are... Um, We'll just leave it there. Some of you are really working on that, uh, regrowing or building yourself from the ground up. Um, this is a complete remodeling energy, I feel like. Uh, this might feel like a midlife crisis, but I don't really, I really don't want to call it a midlife crisis because it kind of falls right into in alignment with the energies lately. Um, there's a lot that's up in the air. There's a lot of that's in fluctuation. There are a lot of things that are changing around us right now. And I do feel like you, Aries, are really kind of going with the flow and making the necessary changes that are possible wherever you can. I do feel like you're, and this is interesting, as an Aries, you know, I mean, I'm an Aries sun in sidereal astrology, so patience is really not the easiest thing for an Aries to, to, to have. However, I do actually feel like, Aries, you are very patient at this time. Um, this is a very mature energy that I'm feeling for you here. 
which is helping you with this balance, with this flow. I think you're really in an understanding right now of um, how things take time. Anything that's really worth building or growing is not necessarily going to happen overnight. And I think you, you're well aware of that. Uh, <laughs> you're well aware of that, Aries. Okay? And that's really going to work in your favor here. All right. And if you're not feeling so patient, if you're if you're just starting on this balancing energy of the yin and the yang, the balance of positive and negative, good, bad, black, white, uh, masculine and feminine, um, patience is going to be your greatest asset right now. Okay. And I, to be honest with you, especially if you guys are working on something financially, I don't really feel like you want things to explode on you i feel like it, and part of the reason why things might be going having a little bit of a slow pace right now is because it's taking the time to build gradually mainly or well yeah mainly so that you have the time to keep up with it you don't get overwhelmed you also have time for yourself uh for peace for balance for healing for meditation for rest okay okay Let's look at what is grounding you now, Aries. Three shuffles here. No, five. Five shuffles. One. Two. What is grounding you this week? What is your driving force here? What is rooted within you? Light. Okay. Yes. So this is you definitely being focused on your own inner light for sure. Okay. So your own sense of self, your own sense of identity, which is all about Aries energy, like which is all Aries is about really. Like that's the big thing about Aries. It's the I am. It's the self. It's the first um, it's the first of the Zodiac, okay? So you, Aries, right now, you're really focused on your inner light and how you can shine it and be more authentic and bring more value into your life in that way. That is awesome. That is really beautiful. You do need to have patience with this because it is an ongoing process. Um, it is a process that's not going to happen overnight. It's, again, something that I really don't feel like you would want to have to develop overnight. You really do want to allow this to take the time to grow and develop as it's going to over time because that way, number one, it'll allow you to, you know, be more observant of it, um, to be able to flow with it, to be able to keep up with anything that might change, um, that you don't want this to move too quickly. And quite frankly, I don't think, I really don't feel like you want to move very quickly right now, Aries. I think the energies are so heavy right now. All of us are just kind of like, as, as much time to rest and heal and recuperate and just go with the flow that we can get i feel is perfect is ideal is much better for us okay and again i know that's kind of out of the ordinary or out of the usual for what a typical aries how a typical aries uh individual or energy may express themselves but this is really to your benefit right now okay okay Cool. So let's get into the tarot here and look at your timelines, yeah? I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Two. Three. For my Aries here. Four. here Boop. And let's see what we have for you overall energy this week we do have the king of wands yes all right typically this is leo energy or uh, uh um technically but I, however i definitely feel like this is you this week aries very focused very balanced going with the flow knowing what it is that you want to do being very confident in yourself 
um, having a very strong idea of who or what it is you want to be or what you want to see develop in your life. Okay. Uh, I do feel an energy because I just heard this. I do feel an energy of being in terms of in something for the long haul. All right. The King of Wands is an energy of uh, knowing exactly what it is that you want and waiting for the right time to strike, like not really trying to move too quickly. Um, just waiting for divine timing is what I'm hearing. Underneath the King of Wands, you do have the Nine of Wands and then you have Death and the Six of Wands. All right. So there you are, Leo. Leo energy right there. Um, and underneath the Six of Wands is the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, and then the King of Cups. Hold on. Oof. Um, okay, we can, go, we can go a little further into that later. But ultimately, you do have the Six of Wands energy. This is fulfillment. This is victory. This is you energy, Leo. Okay. Let's get into your timelines here. Timeline A, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the world. And... The page of pentacles absolutely so even in your first timeline here um you are balancing the scales for sure and this is exactly what's going on here the yin and yang energy all right where you have been over giving i feel like you may be uh, over giving over spending or maybe the opposite under giving under spending or um uh not really fully investing in you um, I feel like that's changing. You're really working to balance the scales here. There are some hard decisions that I feel like you're having to make. Some ways that maybe you're going to have to cut some people off or just um, keep them at arm's length or maybe just not give so much. I do feel like there is inter an internal focus that's coming in for you right now um, and bringing greater balance into your life, okay? Let's look at your second timeline here. You have the lovers, which is in reverse, interesting. Uh, we have this strength. There you are, Leo. And finally, you have the Page of Cups. Okay, um, the lovers being in reverse is interesting. And uh, they're telling me to turn it upright. Okay. I mean, I guess it just ended up reversed in the in the deck. Uh, but I can I can give a little bit of um, in interpretation to it because it came that came out that way for a reason. All right. Um, oh, and then also, excuse me, your common denominator is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Leo. Not Leo. I'm so sorry. Aries. So no, this is not Leo. This is Aries. Maybe you have um, Leo energy around you, or maybe you're dealing with a Leo, but no. This is Leo, not Aries. Sorry. <laughs> but also, that also could be it. This King of Wands can represent Leo energy too. But very interesting. Very, very interesting. The lovers in reverse to me is kind of is saying, is speaking to rejecting some sort of love offer. Or maybe not making a decision. Some sort of love situation could be blocked for you right now, Leo. Uh, geez, Aries, I'm so sorry. Um, but actually, since I keep saying Leo... The six of, I, wow, Aries, I'm so sorry. I completely, I'm completely confusing you with Leo. I said this six of wands energy is you. I, yes, this is you, but it's Leo energy specifically. But this, but, but you are in this victorious state right now. Okay. And if there is a love offer around you, or if there's some sort of love situation around you, I feel like you're the one that's holding it at bay, Aries, because you're the one that's tr coming to greater balance, greater harmony, greater understanding of your, in of your internal reality. But I'm also hearing relationships. Okay. However, Aries, I will say that I do feel like there's some sort of reconciliation coming forward towards you here. And you know, normally for this spread, I developed this spread so that I could, um, I would clarify with Lenormand, but I really want to clarify with Tarot here. So bear with me, Aries, because I really do, I want to clarify this Page of Cups here. Um, I, obviously, I'm going to clarify a lot of things, but uh, the Page of Cups, to me, feels like a reconciliation but I, I, I really feel like you're not even focused on that right now, Aries. You're more focused on yourself, on your healing, 
um, on your balance, on your finances, okay? You're really, I, I just feel like you're very, very focused on the self right now, all right? Yeah. I do, I, and I'm not saying that you're not gonna be in this energy later on. However, with, with the lovers having come out in reverse, Aries, I just feel like you're not making a decision right now. Or maybe someone around you is not making a decision right now. Holding off an apology or holding off some sort of reconciliation for the time being. It's not forever. Because Aries, you are going through a massive change with the world and the Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, and death, all right? You're really going through a big transformation right now. Probably a trans, I did hear a transformation of where your allegiances lie. Um, I do, I, I think last week your, ti your, your reading was titled, titled uh, Shifting Allegiances or something to that effect. All right, I'm going to give this five shuffles, Aries. Whoops. And let's see what we've got here for you. This is three. And I really want to start, I actually want to start with the Wheel of Fortune here. Come on. Oh. Okay. Very good. So let's start with the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> You're kidding me. The Page of Cups again. Actually, I'm just going to stop right here. We have the Page of Cups and we have the High Priestess. Okay. Um, all right. Let's look at the Lovers then. Yeah. Yeah. King of Pentacles to the Two of Wands in Reverse. Um, and it's interesting because the lovers came out in reverse. And to me, that was talking about a, a decision that's being held at bay. And this decision is being held back because someone is working on themselves. Like I said, all right, we do have the five of pentacles in, uh, in the bottom of the deck here. Um, but a sense of security is needed here. Just a little bit more, please. And the two of wands in reverse. The wheel of fortune, again. This is very interesting, Aries. And then you have the king of cups here. Someone, it, it feels like somebody is coming into a sense of emotional stability, emotional foundation, emotional grounding. Because also, you do have, you have underneath the deck here, you have the six of wands, the seven of pentacles to the king of cups, to the devil, okay? And so, ooh, to judgment. All right, so someone is rising above, someone is coming to terms with some sort of addiction or toxic energy, somebody is healing here. Something, someone is really doing the self-work that they need to do, uh, learning from the contrast here, Seven of Pentacles, to really go through a maturing phase. And this is why, this is why a decision is being held at, at bay right now, okay? It doesn't mean they're not going to make the decision. It just means that right now there's healing and changing Shifting of alliances, shifting of uh, uh, allegiances, um, coming into a sense of emotional maturity, emotional security, emotional foundation. Okay. All right. Let's look at the, the strength at strength here. The Empress. And death. Okay. With the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this does feel... Aries, this feels very strongly like a period of regeneration for you. An old way is is 
is uh, dying out and a new life form is being gestated or is be uh, not not gestated is being birthed here uh with the empress and the and the death card and this kind of feels like um that time period where you know if you if like in the desert or like uh, certain areas of the world they have regular fires that happen just naturally that helps to um i mean it burns anything in its path that it, it that it that it crosses but that allows the wildlife and nature to regenerate itself it's like it's a necessary part of the life cycle of that area, right? And that's kind of what this feels like here. Things are being burned away, new light is coming through, but what is ever, whatever is being burned away is so that new light and new life can come through, okay? Can be born and be regenerated. Let's look at this page of cups then. The world, good Lord. The devil. Yep, 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 yep. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense with the Ace of Swords. Look at that. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. I feel like someone is coming out of their comfort zone. So there is a there is a reconciliation coming in some way, shape, or form, Aries. I don't know who it's coming from. Either it's from you or maybe it's from another person. But this reconciliation is kind of being held at bay or it's a secret right now or you don't really know about it you don't know when it's going to happen why it's going to happen who it's going to come from blah 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 um and all that but that's because the universe is actively working on facilitating this is handling this for you okay this is on the wheel of fortune here with the page of cups and the high priestess uh, clarifying the page of cups that's here that came out originally you have the world the devil and the ace of swords so there's an ending of toxic cycles someone is really cleaning up their vibration and this very well could be you Aries but since we do have the lovers here we could be talking twin flame divine partnership so just as you are cleaning up your energies so is a counterpart you two are influencing each, each other. I'm hearing you two are um, are mirroring each other in this light, in this sense. The more you clean up your vibration, the more you work towards handling your own self and your own health and whatnot, finding balance, yin and yang, okay, to open up this door of abundance towards you, door to value, um, uh, fine-tuning what it really is that you value here. And getting into a greater alignment with that the more you do that the more you influence the others around you whether you're involved with a twin flame or a uh, 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 divine counterpart or not because you do by you doing that naturally you energetically influence everyone around you okay not just your twin flame or your romantic partner or anything like that right all right Let's look at the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah. Five of Pentacles in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles. So, oh, I'm sorry, that didn't go out in reverse. But yeah, it came out in reverse originally. Five of Pentacles in reverse. I, I, there's feelings of a lack mentality, lack mentality being let go of, feeling impoverished, feeling depleted. Standing up for yourself, giving back to yourself, okay? With the, yeah, with the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is a really good energy, Aries. Um, I really like this for you. Let's see. Let's go into the Lenormand now, because um, I'm still curious. Uh, well, actually, let's clarify the world, and then we'll clarify the Page of Pentacles here. The Hierophant in reverse. Look at that. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. <laughs> You have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, but right now, uh, uh, with that, you have the Lovers and the Two of Cups, all right? So this new beginning, the Page of Pentacles, this could be an offer or this could just be a level up. This is you or someone else close to you, I'm hearing, maybe even both of you if it's a divine counterpart situation, but this is the two of you coming together in some way. 
Two of Cups, and the Lovers. And in this case, I feel like this this new this could be an offer here with this Page of Pentacles, a message, an offer of commitment, uh, starting a relationship over, starting anew. Okay, coming into the level of authenticity that is necessary for you to have this type of relationship. Okay, um, but this Page of Pentacles energy is the desire to have this here. Okay, the lovers to have this relationship, but it's but the lovers initially came out in reverse, which means there is a delay to the choice because someone doesn't quite feel adequate enough, but they're working on that. King of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune, they're working on that. And I guess you are too, Aries. Yes, you are. You definitely are. The strongest message that I'm getting for you right now, Aries, with yin and yang, door to value and patience, because this really, honestly, you could have been working on yourself for quite a while now, okay? And I'm hearing this, if you're connecting with someone or if you have been connected with someone, they are kind of now just starting this process. Not to say that it's really going to take all that long, but they're just now kind of starting it, all right? Um, and the message for you here, Aries, is that right now you need to be patient. And you really need to work on continuing to shine your light, your inner light, because anything that's really going to have any sort of value, any real true value for you, any sort of long lasting value for you is something that's going to need to take time to develop. The more patient you are with this process, Aries, the better off you're going to be and maybe even the better your payoff will be. And it may just even be that you will appreciate that payoff that much more. Okay. Let's get into some, some of the Normand. Um, I want to clarify this Lovers and the Two of Cups energy. But actually, I wanna, I'm going to go down here first. King of Pentacles, Two of Wands in Reverse, King of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. One last shuffle. I do feel like someone is kind of coming out of a sense of the mind and moving into a sense of the heart with the King of Pentacles to the King of Cups. I really feel like someone is saying, I can't make this decision or I can't choose this path until I get a better acquainted with my emotions. That's what I'm hearing with this. King of Pentacles, Two of Wands in Reverse to the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? But let's see, let's clarify this a little bit more here. Rolling the dice. Ah, uh, okay. Taking a risk, you have the dice, you have the storm, and then you have the sun. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you do have the passionate woman. Um, I kind of feel like someone is someone feels like they may be taking a chance. I, every time this card comes out, I hear "Take a Chance on Me" by ABBA. Um, but this could this could be two things. It could either be that someone is, or maybe they feel like they are rolling the dice or taking a chance and stepping out of the darkness and expressing their true self with the sun, or someone is leaving this risky, rolling the dice past behind for an opportunity to be authentic. I just, the, the main thing here is, is a sense of authenticity between the storm, because I normally see this storm as clearing up, okay? And the sun is coming out, and then you have the sun here right next to that. So to me, this is, uh, Taking a chance on authenticity, which is a really interesting way to put it. But someone, I guess someone really truly feels like they're 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 rolling the dice here. This is being this is pretty risky. But it's a chance for truth. It's a chance for authenticity. I, I feel like someone recognizes that they have an opportunity to come out of the darkness and into the sunlight, out of the stormy weather, the probably negative emotions, stormy emotions. And it, it, it feels like someone has the opportunity or feels like they have the opportunity to be happy. Uh, to be with someone they truly love is what I'm hearing. Ooh, okay. Well, with that said, then let's go over to the Two of Cups and the lovers here. All right. Um, I do want to say on the on the world here, you do have the Hierophant in reverse. So someone is, I really feel like someone is stepping out of some sort of hive mind mentality. Okay, the status quo, opening up to who they truly are. Two of Cups to the Lovers.
the bridge. Wow. Going from rough waters to calmer waters, going on a victory here with the ship, the voyage. Let's get one more card on that. Oh, oh goodness. Look at this, you guys. If this isn't a positive omen for love, I don't know what is. Look at that, the bridge to the to the swans. This could very well be twin flamey, divine partnership. At the bottom of the deck, you have the dog, loyalty. Oh my goodness, Aries. This is really beautiful. Someone is crossing a bridge towards their heart's desire. All of that is on the Page of Pentacles. So you have the Page of Pentacles over Pentacles originally clarified by the Tarot with uh, the Two of Cups and the Lovers. This is someone making the choice to have a romantic experience with someone and to bring that into the physical reality. And then with that, you have the Bridge and the Swans. True love. Masculine and feminine coming together. Okay. Let's look at Death with the Empress now. Which is on, um, what was this on? This is on strength. Okay. You know, this really feels like someone is having the strength to hold back right now. Because they know, with the Empress and the Death card here, they know that something beautiful is growing. And you really just need to step away and allow it to happen. You can't force this. All right? Someone is well aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. You have that with the tower. But in the Lenormand deck, the tower represents something different than the tower in the tarot. This is security. This is strength. This is administration. These are these are um, uh, 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 maybe government agencies or big business agencies or stuff like that. This is something that, something that really takes time to establish. But it's also something that provides a sense of security and grounding. Yeah, let's get a little bit more with that. Whoops. You guys, you can't make this shit up. The time, the clock. Time is of the essence here. Just go with the flow. Allow it to take run its course. Allow things to develop. Allow things to happen. Let's see if we can get one more card here. No. Oh, yes. Look, yeah. To the tulips this is this is this is love this is definitely love someone is building up the opportunity to make a really strong love offer to someone else yin and yang door to value again nothing that is worth having or doing is really ever gonna happen overnight. Anything with real value, anything that contains real true value takes time. And someone here, somebody knows that, somebody understands that and is willing to go with the flow the world, the devil, and the ace of swords, please. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Fox is at the bottom of the deck, um, but you have this with the, the gentleman here. The snake, but then the stork. Storks. And I feel like somebody is giving up their old ways in order for a sense of stability, grounding, foundation, family, love, someone or something they can truly trust. Someone or something they can truly rely on instead of being that snake in the grass type of romantic partner where they're really just I kind of feel like this is like a little bit of a knight of cups energy where they're just in it for their own emotional value or their own emotional gain and are not really willing or they're not really focused on anyone else but themselves but that's changing 
this is a big change for someone, and now I understand why this could seem like a risk. You do have the fox at the bottom of the deck, and then you have that with the mountain. You also have the house here, too, with the, with the, oh, with the lilies. These are the tulips. I'm sorry, if I called these lilies, this is the tulips. Um, both of the, the flower cards represent, can represent love, but the tulips are like that serious like love offer, that serious gift of love here. But then with the fox and the mountain here and somebody trading in their fuckery for, <laughs> trading in their, you know, their, their, their fuck boy, fuck girl-ish type energies for stability and grounded energy, um, a home, a family, something that they can really truly rely, rely on and, and lean on and blah, blah, blah. Um, this does feel like it's a risk for someone because they're now having to stand in their, in their authenticity, in their truth, in the truth of who they are, in their truth of who they are, the truth of their being. All right. And this is a road that maybe <clears throat> they don't, I, I kind of feel like they don't really think they have much guidance on. This is definitely a road much less traveled in terms of this person's life. Like, it feels like the people or the energy surrounding them wouldn't have the slightest idea or the first clue in how to guide them through this. So with the fox here, they may feel very alone um, on their own. They may feel like they, they, they really have to be on the defensive. They really have to protect themselves. Because they're fighting an uphill battle. But this is an uphill battle that's going to bring victory. And obviously, it, it's in it's for love, all right? I want to do, we'll clarify one last thing here. Door to value and yin and yang. The cross. And the house. And the whip. You know, this feels like, with the cross and the house here, Aries, this feels like somebody, uh, and then also the whip at the bottom of the deck there, um, it feels like someone is cleaning up, the whip and the broom, it feels like someone is cleaning up some sense of burdens that they no longer need or want to carry. And these are things that are um, blocking their home life or blocking what it is they truly value in a home. Okay, you have the key underneath that and the masks underneath that with the clovers. So someone is, is really working on closing out a book, closing out a chapter here, bringing their dreams into reality, into manifestation with the sight underneath that. Wow. Um, the key to taking off the mask, which is bringing great luck and success and abundance here with the clovers and closing out a chapter in their lives. Okay, Aries. Now keep in mind, this could be you. This could completely be you, but it's a general reading, so take it as it resonates, yeah? With that said, you guys, I'm gonna leave it right there. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you, uh, please, uh, if you enjoyed this reading, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, please comment if you like, let me know how this resonated. I am available for private readings, and I am also available on Patreon if you'd like to support me there. There's a lot of great stuff over there on Patreon. Just go ahead and check the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next week. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.